guys, welcome back to my channel and happy 2017 everybody. Today's video is going to be the best of 2016. Um, everyone says like 2016 was like the worst year of their life. Um, it was like fine, it was like mediocre, like I learned a lot, it was a bad year, it was a good year as well. Um, I wouldn't like say I hated the year. I had a lot of great things happen this year, like I graduated from high school, dating Matt, getting my own place. I feel like I was happy for like most of the year. I got to be blonde again. I don't know, like it was it was fine. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't the best year of my life. I don't even know what the best year of my life was. Probably like kindergarten, that was pretty cool. But yeah, like it wasn't a horrible year like everyone is saying 2016 was. Um, But yeah, this is the best of 2016 tag. So I'm gonna show you guys like my makeup products that were the best of this year. You guys know how this video goes. So let's get into it. So let's start with foundation. I would say primer, but like, uh, I don't really use primer that much, so whatever. Um, foundation, I found it like literally a few weeks ago, but I know that it's the GOAT because it is just like, I, I've limited myself to using this because it is so expensive and I could have already been done this by now if I kept using it every day like I was. Like at the pace, I was, it was an unhealthy pace. Do you wear Air Flash? If you guys are gonna buy one thing from this video, it has to be this. I will have it linked below. Please, I know it's a lot of money. Like I know, if I was watching this back in 2000 whatever, and it, I was in seventh grade, eighth grade, ninth grade watching this, and I would have heard someone tell me to go buy this foundation, however much it is, like 65, 62, something like that, ridiculous ridiculously overpriced foundation, I would have been like, no, bye, see ya. You need this foundation in your life. Like, you you need it in your life. I will wear this, and I just get compliments all day long. Like, I was painting a few weeks ago, and my neighbor came up to me, and she's like, you look like a doll. Like, your face is like porcelain. And I'm like, thank you, Corlu, thank you. And it was because of the foundation. Like, I'm not kidding. It's the, the best thing ever, and it... I don't, I'm just obsessed with this. I just love it so much. Just get it. Like, I'm just get it. Just get it. Just get it. Are you getting it? Get it. Dior, can you sell these like three times larger and for like half the price? Thank you so much. Let's move on to concealer. Now, I know this year was full of Urban Decay Naked Skin and then Tarte Shape Tape came up on us and everyone's like, oh my god, the internet broke. But here I am over with my Maybelline Fit Me and it's just the best thing ever. Like, $7, $5, $4, something like that. And there's just like nothing that can beat it. It's just so good. Full coverage, it's inexpensive. It has yellow undertones, it has warm undertones, it has neutral undertones, depending on the shade you get, of course. Um, and it's just the best thing ever. And I've gone through like maybe seven of these this year and they're just so good. And they don't, like you can't really see your pores. Like sometimes some concealers, I'll put them on and like my pores grow five times the size. I'm like, what the hell? Like excuse you. This, it's just perfect. Powders, this is kind of like the ride or die tag, isn't it? Everyone's asked me to do it, but I never filmed it, so ride or die tag, here we go. Powders, um, baking was a thing this year, so I feel like it's only appropriate to use powder that I would bake with. Also, I'd switch up my face powders like every other day pretty much, so I didn't really ever have a favorite. I just used whatever was kind of closest to me. Um, so this is the RCMA no color powder. The reason this one is the best because it's not drying under the under eyes. I know I've only used this for the past like two months or so, but um, I haven't, I wouldn't, I'll would probably never buy another baking powder because this one's just so good. It has no flashback, which is so important in a baking powder. If a powder has any sort of flashback, I get so disappointed. I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, Ugh! This has no flashback. It's just really, really great. It works really well. Um, some With some powders, what I like to do is kind of like pat it in like this and then other powders I'll like sweep them away like that. This works great with either method that you choose to do and it no matter what method you do, there's no flashback, which is just so important to me. I got it two months ago and that's all the powder that I've used. And I use a lot of powder. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know I use a lot. Bronzer, I don't really know if anyone could see this coming, honestly, but who saw this coming? No one. So this is Hula by Benefit. I have two of these and in the beginning of the year I was like, oh, yes, I have one that doesn't hit pan and then they both are in pan, so whatever. Love this bronzer. It's a great neutral bronzer. It looks good when you're pale, 
like me. I have it on right now. It looks good when you're tan, like me in the summer. Well, only last summer because I went to Jamaica. It's just, it looks so good on everybody. This was the year of highlight. Last year, we were easing into the highlight. You know, I think it was last year that Jaclyn Hill released Champagne Pop and that sort of changed the game. So in 2016, no one held back. Everyone was like, okay, like highlighter is like the thing to do. Like you want to look like you have a landing strip. You want to like be able to reflect from outer space, do it. I'm going to be honest, it took me a good eight months to adjust to this trend of looking like a grease ball all the time. But once I got the right highlighters, which I picked up this highlighter like April, May, no, March. I use it for prom. Once I started using this highlight, I really got hooked into it. And then I really began like pa pounding it on. I feel like I still am on like the more modest side of highlighters. Like obviously right now I have a good glow to me, but like it's not like, whoa, you know what I mean? But this highlighter, let me just, okay, the best, Laura Geller, uh, Gilded Honey, really good. I also have Charming Pink. I really like that one, but I just like the glow of this golden one. Um, the reason I like this one a lot is because it is super gold, so it looks amazing when you're tan, but it works really, really well when you're as light as I am too because it it's not dark gold to where it looks darker as a highlight. It's kind of like an iridescent gold that just shimmers all along the cheekbones and it's just like, just lovely. Do you know what I mean? A nice glow. And I don't know, I like it all year round. I like it on my eyes, I like it up above my eyebrow, on my nose, lips, cupid bow, like every place that you could put highlighter. Except my chin, I never put highlighter on my chin. Blush, um, I'm like so sad about this blush. It's Flower Child by Becca. But I shattered it. When I was in Alabama, I was, but I, so I can't really hold that one up. But that one's my favorite. It just looks like really cute. It kind of looks like your sunburn a little bit, and it kind of just it's like a really great color. I don't really know what to say about it. The formula is really nice. Um, I just like it on my skin tone. Blush is something so personal. I think like there are so many times where like people will use like hot pink blushes, and it looks so good on them. And then I try and do like a heavy blush one day, and I'm just like, no, like it just does not work on me. Carly Bible, for example, always has like a nice strong blush, and for me it just looks horrible, and I just can't do it. So that's why blush is like so personal. So that's my fave. Um, and I know a lot of people also love that one, but I just, I appreciate it. My hair is just getting bigger and bigger by the minute, but I'm kind of like living for this hair. An eyeshadow palette was something so hard to pick. Manny came out with the Makeup Geek one. There was that Too Faced Peach collection that literally like killed the internet. So many great palettes happened this year. But the one that I always found myself using the most, oh my god, the Morphe 350 was a thing. I still don't have it. But this one palette never broke the world, and I just, I don't know why. I think 2017 is going to be its year, though. The Violet Boss, oh god, Holy Grail palette. This is a very loved palette in my home. It is beautiful. I saw this in Jeffrey's video a while ago and I just loved it. I honestly bought it for this color right here hashtag and also because Jeffrey's in a video and I was like, okay, like I normally like all the products that he talks about. So I'm gonna try it out. It is such a good palette. It has this gold here, which is just to die. I have blue eyes. So I really like using golds on a daily basis. Um, I really like making my blue eyes pop and I like playing with them a lot. Um, and also this is just like, it's just a good palette for blue eyes. It has the cranberries in there, it has the oranges and just warm neutrals, which I think a lot of people love this year. I think everyone should have these colors in their collection. There are a few colors in here that I know I've never used and maybe will never use. The only thing it is lacking though is a strong highlight. There are these two up here and you can see that I mix them together, but they just don't really do the trick for me. I'll normally dip into another highlighter for a good eye highlight, but this palette is just so nice. So mascara, I feel like 2016 was the year for me for eyelash extensions. I had eyelash extensions at the beginning of the year and then I got them off and then my eyelashes were like went to shit and I was like, well shit. 
So then I just used mascara, and the mascara that always made my eyelashes look really good was the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I use this in like every tutorial. This is no surprise. Everyone knows I love this mascara. Too Faced, please sponsor me with this mascara. I will literally do whatever you want. Like, please sponsor me. I love this mascara. So I would do that, and then I got back down to school, and I put my eyelash extensions back on, and then one day I was just like done with them, so I went in the shower, took Vaseline, and scrubbed until they all came out, ripped out my eyelashes, it was not a good thing, so since then, that was in uh, October, I've been wearing fake eyelashes every day, and I love wearing fake eyelashes every day, so um, I think it's really fun, it just makes me feel like glam, and it makes me feel really, really good every day, so I really like it. My favorites are the Ardell Wispies. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know that these are in like every single one of my makeup posts that I do. I'm always talking about Ardell Wispies. They're just really nice everyday natural lashes. They aren't like anything other than perfect. They're just the perfect lash. For Christmas, my sister asked for like an everyday lash and I gave her like four pairs of these because they're just the perfect ones. Um, eyeliner, honestly, nothing special. I was even contemplating putting eyeliner in because, like, half the time I don't wear eyeliner. But when I do, it's normally this. Tart, Tartist. It's really good. I don't really have too much to say about it. It's really good. It's really black. Um, the brush it comes with is really nice. It's just pretty good. Lips is the last thing of this. I think that's like all the bases. I think it covered them all. I have three. I could not choose, but in my defense, two lipsticks, one lip gloss. Nude was like, I really realized that like I feel hot, confident, the best in a nude lip. Um, some people feel best in like a dark lip, red lip, orange. I just love a good nude. And it needs to be pinky, but not pink. And it needs to be orangey, but not orange. So like I like a good warm tone nude. It. And I also prefer lipsticks, not liquid lips. I'm wearing a liquid lip now. It's Anastasia Stripped. The two lipsticks that I could not choose between, it really just depends on like my mood for the day, if I want to be pinky or more nude. So this is Tom Ford Blush Nude, the best. I bought this a very long time ago. This is a very expensive lipstick as well, but I've been using it for so long and I still have a lot left. So it's totally worth the money. And it's a gorgeous color, number 13 blush nude. Like I said, best ever. And the other best ever is by MAC, and it's Myth. Again, bought this a super long time ago. Have about the same amount left. And it's just such a good color. This one is way more orange. They are so different. So this one, let me see. This one is Myth, and this one is the Tom Ford. And on my lips, because my lips are so dark um, underneath the look, Underneath the liquid lip, my lips are so pigmented and so dark. Um, whatever nude I put on kind of pulls a little more sheer, which I really like. I don't like an opaque nude lip. I like it to be a sheer nude lip. That's like my favorite thing ever. Also for 2017, why aren't sheer liquid lipsticks a thing? Like if I could have these two colors in a liquid lip that give me the sheerness of a lipstick, so I can put a gloss over it, I would just like, that's genius. But yeah, on my lips they look very sheer because like my lips are dark. So I really like how it looks. And then the lip gloss that I put on everything, I could literally put this on toast and it would look amazing. This is Marc Jacobs number 314 Moon Glow. I am obsessed with this lip gloss. The reason I like this is because it makes your lips look wet. And that's what I need in a lip gloss. They look wet and they look glossy and they look just <clears throat> yes also this is a great lip gloss because it's opaque enough where I can wear it on its own and it looks like I put a lipstick underneath of it but it doesn't look like uh, it's a pigmented lip gloss it just is like <clears throat> yes what you want in lip gloss so this is it on its own just look it's wet it's a nice wet gloss and then this is it over Oh god, this is it over Tom Ford Blush Nude, and then this is it over Myth. So, it just is... Yes! Yeah, I think this is a super long video, so I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want to see. I really love you guys. You guys have probably already clicked off in this video. Love you guys. Bye!